Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my 11th month update for 50 Shades of Purple. I am officially freaking out about this project. There is only one month left and I am slightly devastated because I don't have enough time to get through all these products and I really want to get through some of these products and I don't have enough time and I'm very sad. Panning 50 products in one project is a ridiculously ambitious goal that only one group of people would ever even attempt. And that group is the Pantastic Ladies. They are a bunch of nutballs that like to do this kind of stuff and they drag me in all the time, but it is way too much for a little panner like me. It is way too much. It is fun though. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And there will be another color starting as soon as this project ends next month. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that project. It's not looking good. I, I just, I think I'm looking forward to the simplicity of having 50 fewer products to work on. But if you like this project, keep an eye out because it will continue on after this year with a new color for next year. So if you like this sort of thing, it's still going on somewhere. It's just not going on here. So anyways, prior to today's update, I had met my goal on 11 out of 50 products. And a lot of the goals that I set on these 50 products were usage goals, not to finish, but even still, I've only met my goal on 11. I do have one more goal met for today, but only one. The latest goal that I've met for this month is finishing this body lotion. So that's pretty good. I finished this Body Recipes White Chocolate Raspberry Body Lotion. I'm ecstatic to have this out of my inventory. I have way too many body lotions. I don't know if you've heard, but I have way too many body lotions. So I celebrate every time I finish a body lotion because my numbers are ridiculous and some of them are quite old. And this was pretty good. I would consider it like a spring through fall body lotion. It wasn't great in the dead of winter. It's not that hydrating, but I I still used it and I enjoyed it and it's gone. So this means 12 goals have been met in this project so far, 11 months into this project. The good news is I do have some good progress. I have been trying really hard to focus on these items more in these last few months and I do have some progress. So here's where I get to show you the rest of my progress on these items. First of all, I have my bronzer from my little black book of bronzers from Too Faced. I'm focusing on the shade called Beach Bunny because it was on this purple part of this palette. And I've really been enjoying this. And I'm pretty much wearing it every day at this point. My goal is just to hit pan. And I'm sure some of you are familiar with this who've panned products like this before. But I was a little surprised to see that this isn't panning evenly. And I don't think it's because of where my brush is hitting it. I think it's because some of these these different shades are packed more densely or less densely depending on their shade. So like for example, I have a big dip right down here at this edge and I have a big dip up here at this edge. I don't know, maybe it is just where my brush is hitting, but I feel like this deepest brown shade is going much faster than the rest of it and that the shade right next to it, which should be going about the same amount, is not going down nearly as much. It's all very weird and interesting. I'm enjoying watching it unfold, but I do not have pan yet. I am optimistic, however, that I might have pan by the finale next month. I really hope I do. We'll see. I'm excited to keep using this. I've really been enjoying it. Um, I have two other bronzers that I'm supposed to be working on and I've basically put them aside to focus exclusively on this for the next month. So hopefully I will get there, but there's only one more month left in this project. Have I mentioned that? Next, I have my face mask from Michael Todd. My goal was originally to finish this. Um, that was a lofty goal because I'm horrible at face masking, but I am happy to announce that I did mask three times in the past month, which is pretty much unheard of for me. I'm ecstatic if I get two uses in, in a month, but I'm asked three times in the past month. So I'm very happy with that. It is getting used up slowly. I will have to find another project to put this in once this project ends. Otherwise, I will stop masking completely. 
and at least if I have a mask in a project, I will mask occasionally, which is more than I would normally do. So I will have to find a project for this to go in ASAP as soon as this project is over. Another product I'm optimistic I will have finished by next month is this body spray from the Healing Garden. It's the scent Lavender Therapy. Pretty much throughout this entire project up to last month, my progress was right here. I really hadn't been using this at all. And currently I am down to right here. So I am very confident that I could finish this off before the end of the month and that would, well, before the end of this project. And that would be great. Um, I mentioned this before, but this isn't a scent that I love. It does smell kind of nice. It's another, it's like light blue. I felt the same way about Dolce & Gabbana light blue. I didn't like it at all when I initially sprayed it. And for the first couple hours, I was just kind of tolerating it. But then suddenly by the end of the day, I'm kind of like, oh, that's a nice scent. And that's weird. I want a perfume that I can enjoy from the moment I spray it until the moment I take a shower. And this is not it. So I will not miss this once it's gone, but I am very confident that I can finish it off by the finale. So I'm really happy about that. Next, I have my primer from Becca. This is the first light priming filter. My goal is to get to the halfway point. It's not looking so good for me to meet that goal, but I did make a little bit of progress over this past month. I did not use this as consistently this past month as I had the previous month because I've been working on that Charlotte Tilbury um, Magic Cream. I think that's what it's called. And I kind of have been using that as a primer. And for a few days, I was putting them both on and I thought, that's silly. I'm just loading all this stuff on my face for the sake of using it. I don't need both. So I started just using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream because I put that in a project. But I've met my goal on that. Spoiler alert. I've met my goal on that one. So I'm going to get back to using this every day for the next month. And I'll see how much progress I can make. Maybe I can get to the halfway point, but probably not. Probably I'll be right about here, which is close to the halfway point, it's close. Again, I have two other primers and other projects that I really need to finish, but maybe I can roll this into a project sometime later on this year and keep working on it. That would be great. I've been really trying to focus in on this cream highlighter also. This is the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Transcendence and this is basically the only cream highlighter I've been using this past month, even the month before that. And I do have good progress. My goal is just to hit pan, which I haven't done yet. But I think you can see there's quite a dip going on right there. Um, there we go. Maybe I could hit pan by next month. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep using this and enjoying it as much as possible. I don't love this. I can't believe I'm saying it, but I don't love this. Um, it's hard for me to put into words what I don't love about it. And I bought four of these all at the same time. So I have a lot of this to get through. But it seems like sometimes this, when I'm like, trying to pick up some product, it picks up like a sheet of product, like a whole chunk comes off. And I don't feel like my ColourPop Super Shock Shadows ever did that. I felt like when I rubbed my finger in my ColourPop Super Shock cheek highlights, I just get an even application on my fingertip. Sometimes I get that with this, but other times it picks up like a whole chunk. And then I have to try to like get that chunk back onto this product or like disperse it evenly throughout my skin and it takes time, seconds. Seconds are wasted doing this step to, to either get it back over here or to blend it out evenly on my face. It's a little bit fussy and I'm, I'm surprised that this product is doing that, but it's definitely doing that consistently. It's more of a surprise when it doesn't do that than when it does do that. But maybe I will be able to hit pan on this by the next by the finale next month, maybe not. I'll just keep working on it and we'll see where I end up. Okay, next I have my Classic Cutie from MAC. I have completely fallen in love with this palette over the past month. I've really been enjoying it. My goal is to use four of these shades 10 times. The four shades are this one, this one, oh, excuse me, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I have not hit the 10 use goal on any of them yet. 
as of today, I have two uses, three uses, four uses, and three uses. So I do think I can hit the 10 use goal on this by next month, but um, I did not make it yet. I still have a ways to go. I do find this to be pretty much a standalone palette. I do like to bring in another brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight other than this palette. But other than that, I can create an entire look from this palette that I love and I've really been enjoying it. These are very, I, every once in a while, I hear people refer to eyeshadows as sparkly. And I always thought that was kind of strange. Like, I don't think of eyeshadows as sparkly. I think of eyeshadows as matte, satin, shimmer, metallic, foiled. These are words that I think of when I think of eyeshadows. But when I'm using these eyeshadows, the word sparkly, definitely comes to mind and I get it especially with these two bigger pans right here this one and this one once I tap that onto my eyelid it looks sparkly and I love it it's very magical and beautiful and I really really like it so I'm enjoying this palette very very much I only need to use it a few more times to hit my goal and I am going to try and do that if not over the next two weeks and definitely over the first two weeks of April before this project ends. Another eyeshadow that I've really been enjoying is one that I hadn't used even once prior to this update. This is my L'Oreal Burst Into Bloom eyeshadow. It's just a gorgeous lilac shade. And I gave myself some ridiculous goal with this product. I gave myself the goal of using it 30 times. I'm at two uses. So there's probably, no. Not probably. There is no way I'm going to hit my goal of 30 uses on this by the finale, but that's okay. I'm going to get as much use out of this as I can. I've really been enjoying it. I've had a lot of fun trying to figure out different combinations with my Pan That palette and see what kind of looks I can create. I will show you the look that I created so far in my update on April 1st. Yes, but um, I've just been doing the two looks I did using this were the same and yeah I'm glad I'm finally using this once there's still a couple products in this project that I haven't used even once so I'm glad I finally used this two times and the last eyeshadow I've been trying to get some use out of is my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and Birthday Wish I am wearing this today all over the inner like half two-thirds of my eyelid it's just a beautiful shade I really like it I do use Duraline to make it pop the way that it is because it's kind of dried out a bit, but I've enjoyed it a lot. My goal is to hit pan. I think I already said that and I have not hit pan on it yet. I used it today in one last ditch effort to try to hit pan. I can kind of see the button showing through so I know I'm close. Plus I've used it a whole bunch so I know I'm close, but no pan yet. I'm going to try to hit pan by next month. One more eye product that hadn't been used even once prior to this past month, but I've now used a few times, hang on, but I've now used four times is this shade called Aurora Nights from Bare Minerals. I received this as a gift from my friend Kathy at Christmas or my birthday, my birthday, not last year, the year before last year. And I hadn't used this ever before, and I have absolutely fallen in love with this product. It is so, so good. I really love it. It's like a dusty lilac lavender shade, and it's just a cream shadow. It has like a doe foot applicator, and I literally just take it and swipe it on my eyelid, and then I take my ring finger and kind of blend it out. Sometimes I wear this all by itself with like a pink shade blended out in my crease. Other times I put an eyeshadow on top of it and I use this as sort of a base. Either way, my eyeshadows do not crease. They last all day long. They look so beautiful and I love this. I am I am enjoying this so very much and I did not see that coming. I had this this shade in this tube is kind of unappealing to me. I don't know why, but when I see it in this tube I'm just kind of like it's not really purple, it's not really gray, it's not really, it's just blah. But on my eyelids, this looks beautiful. And I've really been enjoying it. My goal is only to use this 15 times, so there is a chance I can meet my goal on this by next month. But again, as you can see, there's a lot of eyeshadows I'm trying to meet my goal on. And I only have two eyeballs, so we'll see what I can do between now and the, the finale next month. But 
if I use this 11 more times, I will meet my goal. Next is my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I'm pretty much using this every single day at this point. Probably not gonna finish this off by next month. These little suckers last forever, but it is getting a little bit flatter and I'm enjoying it. I need the tiniest amount of this product every day, but I do try to use it every single day. And I think this is another product that I need to definitely try to roll over into another project as soon as this project ends, cause I've really grown accustomed to using it and I've really been enjoying it very much. The next product I wanted to talk to you guys about is this eyeliner from Mary Kay. This is in the shade Violet and I'm having a really hard time with this. I'm not quite ready to declutter this yet. I thought about decluttering it today, but you guys know how hard it is for me to declutter. So I'm like, oh, we'll just give it the last month. But this is really hard. It's a really dried out hard pencil. And I thought that maybe there would be some way that I could just use it up and get it out. But I'm afraid I'm gonna rip my eyelids off if I really try that hard. It's just not really working. And I can, yeah, you know what? This is hard to say. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. It's just, I just rubbed really hard on my hand, which can handle a lot more pressure than my eyelid. And I really could barely get anything off on my hand even. Like, I don't know, maybe I could go back to the 80s and take a, a cigarette lighter and try to melt it down and use it that way like I used to do. I don't know, I, that's crazy talk. I'm going to declutter this. So this is leaving the project also. Not because I finished it, but because I cannot do this to my eyeballs. I will damage them. Oh my gosh. We're having a moment right here and right now. I'm decluttering something, you guys. Don't hold me to it. I've said it. It's on camera. I can't take it back. It better be in my empties or I'm going to be in big trouble. So there, I've said it. It's, it's official. I'm decluttering it. And the last product for eyeshadow that I want to talk about is not something that I've used yet. It's something that I want to use in the next month. There's, again, there's probably no chance that I'm going to meet my goal on this, which is to use it. Would help if I knew what my goals were. Which is to use it 15 times. But by this time next month, I would like to have some of those 15 uses because I'm at zero uses so far. And that is my Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadow in the shade Polynesian Nights. What is it? Um, Polynesian Purple. So... I want to get some uses in on this. It's been sitting on my bathroom counter for 11 months now and I haven't used it even once. So we need to rectify that and use it a few times between now and next month. Okay, next are all of my lip products. First of all, I have Darling by Revlon. I love this shade. I'm wearing it right now. I've been wearing it a ton. I've been wearing this a ton. It lives in my purse. I only have two lip products in my purse. So every day after I eat lunch at work, five days a week, I have a choice of two products to put on, and this is one of them. So I choose this one quite often, but there's still so much product left. This is where I'm at. My goal is to finish it. I don't think that's gonna happen, but I've been enjoying it very, very much, and um, I'm glad I'm getting some use out of it. And I like it, I'm wearing it right now. Did I mention that? I'm starting to repeat myself a lot. The other color lip product that I've been trying to reach for in this project is my lipstick from Anna Sui. Look at this beauty. She's just so gorgeous. She's so pretty. My goal is to use this lipstick 50 times and I'm only at nine uses, but I am trying to reach for this more. It's shaped like a star. The color itself is not the most flattering color. It's kind of a pastel -y, peachy color that looks a little bit unnatural. And that's coming from somebody who's wearing purple lipstick right now. But I am at nine uses, and if I can somehow manage to use it 41 more times in the next month, I will have met my goal. That's probably not gonna happen, but I have been trying to use this more. 
And the last three products I've been working on in this project are all of my lip treatments. And I use these a ton. First of all, I have this lip, lip shine. It's just called a lip shine. I would call it like a lip oil from Victoria's Secret in Wild Berry Bouquet. I have gone down a little bit. It's hard to see, but there is the slightest amount of progress in this, but this is going to be around forever, forever. I've used this a ton. It doesn't last, for, it does give me a lot of shine and it, it smells wonderful. It feels beautiful. It just doesn't last very long. This is the kind of product that I could reapply every half an hour easily. And, um, that's a little bit much for me. That's a little bit much for my lifestyle. I kind of want to apply things maybe once or twice a day, but I, if this was my only lip care product, I would have to reapply a lot. But I am trying to use this regularly, like once a day. And when I do use it, I like it very much. Not gonna finish that by the finale. I'm not gonna finish any of these by the finale. Next is my Origins Lip Balm. This is in the shade Plum Punch. I've been using this every night. I've really come to enjoy this as a nighttime lip moisturizer. This is a very, very thick, heavy lip balm, and it will stay on my lips until I wake up in the morning. So I've really been enjoying putting this on at night before I go to bed. I think I will find a project to roll this into as soon as this project ends so that I could keep that system going because I have really enjoyed putting this on at night before I go to bed, but there's still so much left. Don't have much progress to show. And finally, I have my lip balm from Victoria's Secret. My goal is just to hit pan on this. I have not been working on this one as much over the past month. I feel like I've been working on those too much more. So I don't feel like the dip really grew too much. So I will continue to work on this over the next month, but I don't think I'll be hitting pan on it by the finale. Still so much to work on in this project and only one more month. I wish I could extend this project longer, but I really wish I could extend this project for longer, but I can't because those are the rules and we have to follow them. I'm really curious to see how many of these goals I could possibly meet by the finale next month. I do think I will meet a few, but you know, a lot I will not meet. And that's, that's okay, that's, that's what it is. It is what it is, as I sometimes like to say. It is what it is. But um, yeah, I have really been enjoying this project so much over the last couple of months. The procrastinator in me definitely was like, ah, oh, I don't have to worry about that, I still got 10 more months in this project. I don't have to worry about that. I still got nine more months. And now I'm like, ah, but I am really enjoying all of these products very much. And um, I'm having a lot of fun. And I think as soon as St. Patrick's Day is over, it's gonna be purple baby, purple eye looks every day from now until April 15th. So I'm, I'm trying to rock as much green as I can for the next few days. But as soon as St. Patrick's Day is over, it's go time for the purple. So, yep. That's the plan. All right, you guys, that's it for this update. Thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.